And I be listening to a dude talking about, man, free my homie dog on. I mean, murder, death, kill, man. Free my dog, murder, death, kill. Only for them to dog on. Have their homeboy free. Only for them to walk them into more trouble and more drama. And some of my partners just did 15, 20 years. Only for them to get out and you to walk them back into some more bullshit that you done started. <laughs> There's one thing to say free them. That the minute they get out, you about to walk them into more drama because that's the life you live. That's crazy, man. Like, for real, for real. Shoot, people be like, man, I don't want fake people around me, man. I don't like fake people. I don't like them snakes, man. Cunning, conniving, and all of that. Woot de woot de woo. That's all cap. All cap. Start speaking facts and telling the truth and watch how many friends you have. Yeah, I've been on Facebook for about three years, four years. Doggone. I got about 80 friends. All 80 of them found me. You hear me? All 80 found me. Because I already know, man, the minute I say something, man, people going to be offended, man. They're going to be offended. Shout out to all of the folks who was uh, on my page who had sense enough to say, you know what? I'm just finna doggone delete myself, man. Get away from shouting so there don't be no smoke. You feel me? Yeah. But yeah, for real, for real, shout out to you. Uh, for all of y'all who doggone made certain decisions in your life that got you in the boat that you in, shoot, live with it, man. Quit playing the blame game. It's what it is. You your own worst enemy. You did it. So you in the boat you in, you, you know, it's up to you to get yourself out. So you, you can't move a certain way. Due to your lifestyle and your decision making. That's all it come down to. But yeah, man, the words are dog on Booker T. Washington, man. So he said a lie doesn't become truth, wrong doesn't become right, and evil doesn't become good. Just because it's accepted by the majority. The majority of people accept a lot of things that they don't even understand or know nothing about. They just accept it. Blindly accept it. Call it faith. Blindly. And since the majority of them do it, they feel as though it's right. <laughs> Cattle. Man, you got to really have a mind of your own. That's what they hate. Shoot, boy, it's useless to talk facts and analysts to a doggone people who enjoy the sense of, like, more doggone superiority in their ignorance. It's useless. Shoot, they sitting back like, hey, look, I got a title. You know what I mean? I got a position in this matrix, and it's working for me. Man, I be working for you, so I'm going to sit here in my ignorance. As long as I got this... This title, I'm good. You know what I mean? Forget everything else. So, yeah, it's useless for real, for real. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you different like me, sure, it's better to lose people, man, than yourself. You know what I mean? Be who you are. You know, you might lose some so-called friends, but uh, don't lose yourself, man, for real, for real. You know, I'll be looking at this whole Democratic Party, and when I say systemic racism, that's what I mean, because... If you really study this party, man, you know, a lot of people grew up on food stamps, including myself, and I know it to be a stepping stone. It wasn't for you to just sit there and breastfeed off the government tits for the rest of your life and look at it as a retirement plan. That's not what that's for. But a lot of people become complacent, you know what I'm saying? So therefore, government, hey, look, we'll give you Section 8 housing. Oh, we'll give you a voucher. You know what I'm saying? We'll give you food stamps. We'll do this for you. We'll do that for you. And that keeps the person dependent on the system and guess what you never bite the hand that feeds you a lot of people they'll tell you they don't agree with a lot of what the government doing they're against it but yet and still guess who feed them the government so how are you gonna bite the hand that feeds you anyway it make you so dependent on the system you don't know what to do without it in a real capitalistic society 99 percent of the people can't take away the rights of that one so being that we living in a republic, all right, United States Republic, that's where we live, right? The country itself is the republic. And we don't have like socialism or, uh, or communism. 
You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a capital. It's, it's capitalistic society. You know what I mean? If you're willing to go out here and bust your behind, work two or three jobs, and earn money to put yourself ahead, then you got the opportunity to do so. But a lot of people, man, it's like that Democratic Party, man. Make you so dependent and lazy, and then you think the government is supposed to do everything, and then some people get it misconstrued. Oh, the white man. Oh, the white man. And that's why it's the white man. When in actuality, it's you. You're your own worst enemy. You're living in the most powerful nation in the world. And you can't get ahead. Who's keeping you down? Right. Exactly. So due to your decision making and due to your lack of knowledge. Book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Suffer from lack of knowledge, right? Due to that, you out here making choices you don't understand. And you believe in things that you don't understand. The words of Stevie Wonder, man. When you believe in things you don't understand and you suffer. Superstition ain't the way. But anyway, like I say, uh, it is a such thing as a doggone Democratic doggone plantation. Now, I'm not too fond of the Republic, Republicans neither in this day and age. That's just me. All right? That's just where I stand. But do your due diligence, man. Do your homework thoroughly. The best you know how. And do the best you can until you know better. In the words of Maya Angelou. For real, for real. And also remember, man, it's best to put that energy towards the youth. Then to try to heal a broken adult. That's me paraphrasing Frederick Douglass. You may as well put all that good energy into the youth, man, and build them up. Versus trying to heal all of these broken adults who point a finger and playing the blame game. Because they made a bunch of decisions they don't understand. And they just bucked the system. Yeah. A lot of them represent Christianity. They teach them how to beg. And just wish for stuff. Anytime they go to the Most High God, go to the Lord... They're just begging. Most of them anyway. You know, somebody sick, somebody hurt. They need some money. Just, you know, you can thank the Lord just for being able, you know, just for breathing. And having another opportunity and a chance to do better for yourself. Footprints in the sand. You take one step, you take the next. But you got to do for yourself. When people see you doing for yourself and you want to help yourself, they'll be eager to help you. But you got to remember it start with you. It start with you. And your decision making, the best gift God gave us is freedom of choice. You get to decide for yourself if you use your own sound thinking mind. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. If you don't know how to think for yourself and you're distracted out here by this circus. Oh, I got to catch an NFL game. Oh, I got to go to the bar. Oh, I'm going to the theme park. Oh, I got to go listen to some rap music. A bunch of poison. You know? Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I got to watch sports. And you caught up in a distraction. You're so much caught up in the distraction, you don't even know which questions to ask. You don't even know what to look for. If Yahshua was down here walking in your face right now and right there in front of you, you wouldn't even be able to recognize. Because you don't know any better. Sheeple. Sheep. Cattle. Yeah, it's very true. When you look at how much money these entertainers get paid, they get paid more than doctors. That do, that do surgeries. The doctor who will save your life. They get paid more than teachers. Teachers is doggone part of the village. It take a village to raise a child. And they helping out with the children. Eight hours of the day minimum. And the entertainers get paid far more than them. Millions and millions of dollars. To keep you sheeple distracted. And entertained. And it's working. Look how much money people pay to go to a concert. Look how much money people pay... Dog on go to a football basketball game. They tear up their TV if their football team lose, if their basketball team lose. This is how distracted they are. And you can't tell them. You'll make them feel small. They don't want to believe it. They delusional. They in denial. If you try and take away one one's illusion, they would go crazy out here. They don't know what to do if their illusions were taken away. They don't know what to do. They caught in a matrix. <laughs> it's dangerous, so be careful. I'm not going to lie to you. Life is great, man. It's a beautiful world. Especially when you stay away from jealous, hateful, negative people. Life is good. It's nothing wrong. Life is beautiful. Everything going to happen the way it's supposed to happen. Everything is right. Everything is right. All right? Everything is right. The inevitable is going to happen. None of us are going to make it out alive. Make some great decisions. Be knowledgeable. That way you can make some knowledgeable decisions 
have knowledge, make some knowledgeable decisions. Decisions? I mean, can't stress it enough. But, uh, yeah. Hey, uh, last but not least, man, we can't force nobody to doggone receive a message that they're not ready to receive. Can't force them to take a message they're not ready to receive. That don't mean you can't put the word out there, though. You can put the information and the word out there. And one day when they wake up, hopefully it's buried in their subconscious. So, therefore, you plant the seed, all right? Plant the seed for change and plant the seed for hope, you know? You must not lose hope. You must not give up. Always plant the seed. They may not be ready to receive it now, but hopefully when they get to a point in life, they'll be like, you know what, man? That person went crazy. That person wasn't weird. And then, you know, it had done on them. Inshallah. That means God's will. If it's God's will, that's what that means. Alhamdulillah. Please believe me. Yeah. Me saying that right there is enough to discourage people and say, you know what? What do you believe in? Oh, my God. Just because they lack knowledge. That'll be enough to scare them. <laughs> Every time. But, yeah, man, we live in a time where intelligent people, they offend doggone... Ignorant people, I'm not going to say stupid, but intelligent people offend ignorant people because ignorant people don't know. So when an intelligent person come around, it makes them feel small, so they offend it. And so an intelligent person has to be careful. Too much is given, much is required. But not just that. An ignorant person will take offense because you will make them feel small. And they don't want to feel belittled because they lack knowledge. So... Therefore, they'll be offended if you have knowledge. They won't want you around. So, therefore, I'm heavily guarded. And I'm shielded from a lot of nonsense, jealousy, hate, and negativity. Because I'm going to bring the facts around and I'm going to speak truth over and out.